Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is a squared minus b. This is equal to 1 that 3. Let's call this equation 1. b squared minus a, this is equal to 1 that 3. Let's call this equation 2. So what is the value of a and what is the value of b? So now here we provide a solution from here. The first step from here is to subtract equation 1 with equation 2. So that now, here we have a squared minus b subtract b squared minus a. This is equal to 1 that 3 minus 1 that 3. Therefore, here we have a squared minus b. Let's open the parentheses here. This is minus b squared minus times minus a this is plus a this is equal to one that three minus one that three this is equal to zero so here we have a squared minus b squared then plus a subtract b this is equal to zero now a squared minus b squared this is the difference of two perfect squares that we can express as a plus b multiplying by a minus b then plus a minus b this is equal to zero so this implies that a minus b is common here so we can factor out a minus b now into the parentheses this is a plus b plus one this is equal to zero so this implies we have got two parts here the first part is a minus b this is equal to zero and the second part is a plus b plus one this is equal to zero now from the first part here we have that a is equal to b from the second part here we can make b to be the subject of the formula here so that b is equal to minus a minus one of which we can express this as b is equal to minus into the parentheses this is the same thing as a plus one now from the first part here let's substitute a that is b into equation two equation two is b squared minus a this is equal to one that three so let's substitute a which is equal to b in this case so that we have b squared minus b this is equal to 1 that 3. So let's take 1 that 3 on the left hand side so that we have b squared minus b minus 1 that 3. This is equal to 0. Now this is a quadratic equation where we have a equal to 1, b equal to minus 1, and c is equal to 1 that 3. Now, in case 1 here, we have b squared minus b minus 1, that 3, where we have a is equal to 1, b minus 1, and c is equal to minus 1, that 3. So, we can solve for b1, comma, b2, by applying the quadratic formula, which is minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, everything here, divided by 2 times, times a. Let's substitute the values of a, b, and c into this formula here, so that b1, comma, b2, this is equal to minus, minus 1, plus or minus the square root of minus 1, this to the power of 2, minus 4, times 1, times c, which is minus 133, everything here, divided by 2 times 1. So this implies that here we have minus times minus 1, this is 1, plus or minus the square root of, this is minus 1 squared, and this is equal to 1. Then we have minus 4 times minus 1, that's 3. This is equal to plus 5, that's 2. Everything here divided by 2. So we have that b1, comma b2, this is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 plus 5 that further that 2 this is 503 divided by 2 
So this implies that here b1 is equal to 1 plus square root of 533 divided by 2. And we have that b2 is equal to 1 minus the square root of 533 divided by 2. Now, let's solve for the corresponding values of a, a1 and a2. We have that, if you recall, we have that a is equal to b. So this implies that a1 is equal to 1 plus square root of 533 divided by 2. And we have that a2 is equal to 1 minus square root of 533 divided by 2. So this means that the first set of solution here, a1, comma b1, this is equal to 1 plus square root of 533, 533 over 2, comma, 1 plus the square root of 533, divided by 2. So this is the first set of solution that we have. The second set of solution is a2, comma b2, which is equal to 1 minus the square root of 533 divided by 2, comma 1 minus the square root of 533 divided by 2. This is the second set of solution that we have. Now, let's proceed to case 2 from here. Now, in case 2, we have that b is equal to minus into the parenthesis, this is a plus 1. And if you recall, if you recall from equation 1, which is a squared minus b, this is equal to 133. So we can substitute b, which is minus into the parenthesis a plus 1. So this means we have a squared minus into the parenthesis this is minus a plus one this is equal to one that three now we have that this is a squared minus times minus this is plus a plus one then this is equal to one that three let's take one that three on the left hand side so that we have a squared plus a plus 1 minus 1 that 3 this is equal to 0 so we have a squared plus a plus 1 minus 1 that 3 this is minus 1 that 2 and this is equal to 0 now this is a quadratic equation here which we can solve by factorization method whereby we have a squared plus 12a subtract 11a subtract 102 this is equal to 0 so from here we have got the first part a and the second part a from the first part we have that a is common so we can factor out a where we have a plus 12 minus in the second part here, we have that 11 is common, so we can factor out 11, so that we have a plus 12. This is equal to 0. So this implies that here, we have a plus 12 is common here, so we have a plus 12. Then we have a minus 11. This is equal to 0. So we have got two parts here. We have that a plus 12, this is equal to 0. And we have that a minus 11, this is equal to 0. So in this case, we have that a1 is equal to minus 12. And we have that a2 is equal to 11. Now, let's solve for the corresponding values of b. If you recall... We have that b is equal to minus into the parenthesis a plus 1. So let's solve for b1 here. Now, 
in this case here we have minus a which is minus 12 plus 1 and this implies that here we have minus times in this case minus 12 plus 1 this is equal to minus 11 and therefore here we have minus times minus 11 we have 11 now this is supposed to be a3 and this is a4 so we have that here b3 this is equal to 11 so we have the third set of solution here that is a3 comma b3 and this is equal to minus 12 comma 11 this is this, the third set of solution that we have for this algebra problem so let's solve for the fourth set of solution now given that a4 is equal to 11 then we can solve for b4 b4 is equal to minus into the parenthesis this is a plus 1 so we have that b4 this is equal to minus remember here a is 11 plus 1 and therefore we have that b4 is equal to minus 11 plus 1 which is 12 and this implies that the fourth set of solution here that is a4 comma b4 this is equal to 11 comma minus 12 and this implies that we have got four set of solutions for this algebra problem so can you follow the steps like this video and country subscribe please like this video and country subscribe see you in the next video